welcome to another session on cloud computing docker topic in this video we will continue with our cli interactions and cli uh, subject which is how to interact with the docker using command line interface and uh, how to get job done using cli and docker daemon in the earlier videos we have seen how to uh, run an image how to pull an image how to start an image how to stop an image how to remove the images using cli in this session we will see how to launch an existing container how to detach from a command prompt how to execute commands inside a container and how, what are the networking possibilities which are available inside cli let's begin so we have uh, in the earlier video we have seen that how to set this port number 3000 uh, using command prompt and we have also done it using a ui in uh, we have seen that demo in the earlier videos uh, what we will do is we will uh, if i want to launch this container again what i have to do is just i have to click on this uh, start button and the container will be launched so this container is running if i want to stop it i'll just click on the stop uh, it will hold the container and if i'm willing to launch this container again i have to just click on the start button and the same container will be starting this is this interaction is happening using the uh the ui option provided by the uh, docker desktop what about how launching the same container using the cli let's look into that let's first of all stop this container and let's switch to command prompt so we have a uh, docker command prompt with us let's zoom a bit docker images will list all the images so we have a python image and httpd image on our machine docker ps will list all the running containers as right now there is no running container the list is empty docker ps a will list all the containers which are available so i have a container available on my system with whose container id is 21 ad somewhat so if i want to start the uh, run the existing container what the command is docker start to one and then uh, type the unique id of the container and let hit the enter key if you get the same thing as an uh, response which is uh, the string that you pass to the start command it means that the container is launched let's look at the status of the container using the docker desktop here you will find that the container is now in the running state now if i type docker ps command i'll get the container into the running state i hope you can see here uh, the output of the docker ps command earlier was a empty list because the container no there was no running container now the same command has listed the container id to one ad uh, as a running container so it has launched the container here you know that from your local host system port number 3000 is mapped to the port number 80 inside the container and using the same thing we were loading the page of uh, page of our institute uh, the page that we customized uh, html page that we created inside the container if i go to the container inside the exec part using which we are able to execute different commands inside the containers let's see check whether the ping utility is available or not let's install ping utility This has installed ping command utility inside the docker container. Now I'll be able to use this ping utility to ping to the computers which are available in my LAN. Here you will find that I am getting a response from the gateway of my network. If I connect to my 
service provider, internet service provider server, which is deployed in my local network, it will ping to that. So using this uh, Docker uh, command prompt, you will be able to interact with the container and the container will also able to interact with the outside world using the uh, networking facility provided by the Docker containers and Docker daemon. So these are uh, more options, uh, just uh, this is a demo of more options on the Docker container and Docker CLI and uh, uh, Docker uh, desktop UI options. In the last three, four videos, we have interacted with the Docker daemon using Docker UI as well as using Docker command line interface. I hope you people have got the concept and some of the commands that we have undergone. I recommend you people to try, uh, 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 try and uh, execute some more commands with the Docker and uh, 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 play with the Docker containers and the uh, Docker app environment. In the next video, we will talk about uh, uh, theoretical part of a Kubernetes. Uh, and we'll also take a, a web-based demo of Kubernetes. Thank you.